What you guys got another video here for you now this is a very unusual video for me i get a lot of people uh hating on windows 10 and stuff like that and i thought I'd make a video showing you destroying windows 10 just to give the uh haters a bit of a a love so as you can see here we have a, a windows 10 working system here it's a fresh install of windows 10 and uh i'm going to show you how you can completely destroy windows 10 here in this video so i'm going to open up a command prompt here and uh, in command prompt, I'm going to run some commands. Now, you will need to do some other stuff before you can do this because it won't work. So I'm going to do uh, del space C colon backslash space forward slash S forward slash Q space forward slash F. And what that's going to do is start to delete uh, all the directory, as you can see here. And it's starting to delete them and remove them from the system. Now, depending on which way you want to go about doing this, you will need to prepare your system for this process because Windows won't allow you to uh, just go ahead and delete uh, Windows directories and stuff like that. It's just not going to allow you to do it, okay? And as you can see here already, uh, by looking, it's starting to destroy Windows 10 already. Uh, things are not opening, and that's because they're getting deleted. Icons are starting to disappear. And this will go ahead until it completes the whole process and deletes every single uh, file on there. And you can see it's saying delete file and it's being successful. And that's because we've given it permission to do so. And you will need to be administrator, obviously. And that's just going to roll on through here. Now, this is quite a lengthy process, so I'll speed this up. It takes a few minutes to, to destroy Windows 10. So I'm just going to let this finish off here. So I'm going to speed this process up. You can see things are starting to go wrong now. Nothing's opening. Internet Explorer's not opening. Can't open up anything else on here. It's completely started to destroy. And uh, it's starting to work its magic. And if we look on the recycle bin here, we're going to try one more. We're going to rename all files. And we're going to name them uh, .aha. And uh, as you can see here, I'll show you in a second. We'll go into this directory and we can take a look. So let me just quickly uh, type dir here and you'll be able to see uh, the actual directory as renamed all those files. What's left? The ones it couldn't delete, it's renamed all these now. So the system's not going to be able to work properly uh, with those like that. But I'll even show you a bit step further. We'll go ahead and we'll delete uh, the Windows System 32 uh, folder and also the Windows folder as well from command prompt. Now you can see here when you try to type anything up here to try and get to those directories, uh, it's not going to happen. It's not going to allow you to do anything because they're completely damaged. So if I go into Windows now, it says currently unavailable. Won't let you do anything from here either. So even if I tried uh, System32 here or anything like that, it's completely uh, inca incapable of going into there. So let me just close this off here and look at the recycle bin. It's completely destroyed. So yes, you can destroy Windows 10. Pretty easy to do uh, if you know how. Uh, running those commands will not allow you to destroy Windows 10, by the way. You will, know, you will need to do other steps uh, to allow that to happen. And uh, I didn't cover those in this video because the video would have been too long. Uh, but as you can see here, nothing is opening at all. Can't do anything here, it's completely uh, kaput. So that's how you can uh, destroy Windows 10. What we're going to do here is I'll quickly reboot the system and we'll go into uh, the troubleshoot here because I can't open up anything from the desktop anymore. So let me just go ahead, we can't even open the run command box here. So let me just go ahead and type uh, search here, nothing's opening, run, nope. So we're going to have to uh, restart the system here because I can't get into PowerShell or Command Prompt from here no more because it's been destroyed. But I will be able to do that in the uh, troubleshooting area. It's completely uh, renamed all the files. So let me go ahead and restart. And uh, we'll restart into the uh, troubleshooting area. So I can't even restart here, so let me log out. Okay, so it's going to start to prepare the automatic repair here because it's not going to be able to do anything. Now, I did try to go to Windows 10, but it just kept doing a reboot loop. 
So I'm going to go into the, the command prompt here and just polish off this uh, Windows 10 install. So let's go ahead and uh, change our directory to our D directory here. And uh, what we can do here is then change this to say Windows. So just type in Windows here, we should have respelt that there. So just put Windows in. There we go. And uh, push enter, we should be in our Windows directory. Change our directory to our System32 folder now. And then we'll be able to see uh, what um, files we have left in there. So if we type DIR here, you'll be able to see here that we've renamed a lot of files that have been left behind, okay? Now again, you won't be able to rename these files without having permissions. You will need to sort those out before this happens because Windows just won't let you do that. So we're going to delete all these files if we can. And uh, we'll push enter here. And it will say, oh, are you sure you want to delete them? I'm going to say yes. Also, what I want to do here as well is type DIR. So we can see we deleted a lot of those files now. There's some uh, other files left. They're the ones up the top. So it's deleted a lot of that stuff now. So let's move on to the next step. So let's go ahead and uh, change our directory here and go back to our root directory and then type in our delete D windows here. So we're going to delete the windows directory. The system 32 folder is gone. So now we'll do the windows directory. And now you can see once we've done this and we can type in DIR, you can see the windows directory is gone and the system 32 folder is now gone. So that is completely destroyed windows 10 and uh, that will be that. So you'd have to re reinstall uh, windows 10. So that's basically how you can destroy windows 10. Why you'd want to do it, I don't know, but you can do it with a few other steps before that and uh, you should be pretty much good to go. Anyway, that's what that's going to do now is uh, try and prepare uh, Windows 10 for automatic repair and uh, good luck with that one because it's not going to work. So all that will happen is you'll end up either going into a reboot loop or you'll get blue screens and uh, stuff like that. It can't do anything here and as you can see automatic repair couldn't repair your PC and it will just continue to do that. You have to reinstall Windows. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Don't know why I did it, but I just did.